When practicing on the job, there are things we want to remember. We're not trying to hit fast, we're not trying to hit hard. We're trying to hit right. When we learn to hit right, then we can learn to hit fast. Then we can learn to hit powerful. Okay? So when we do these techniques, I always like to say you want to start off like slapping or tapping the jump, not hitting the jump. A lot of people like to think that, oh, if they hit hard, they're getting really good out because they got a lot. No, and on the contrary, it actually can make you worse because you can learn to be stiffer, you can learn to be tenser. We want to be powerful as well as fluid. Okay? So we're not just learning how to hit this thing hard, we're learning how to hit it hard, powerful wise, fluid wise, and accurate. These are the things that we're just going to develop through the light tapping. Okay? So when we break this down, understand this is just one technique that you can practice on the job. There are thousands of them. I'm going to show you one technique that is good for basics beginners. Okay? So when we take the job, okay, we're going to learn how to hit within the first two arms on the inside. Now there are outside techniques, there's all these other techniques, but we're going to focus on this. So you want to sit where it's comfortable. Now the job is a little lower, so I'm going to sit a little bit underneath. That's why I look like I have to slouch a little bit because it's actually lower than what I need. But for all intents and purposes, it'll be fine. Okay? Now, when we connect the first set, we are going to use the palm and hit the jump. Okay? Now, power will not come from our shoulders. You do not want to go like this and throw your shoulders in there. You are actually committing that energy. And the only reason why you can't tell is because the jump is stopping you from falling over. But imagine if this arm was light as paper and I hit with all this power, I will actually knock myself off balance. So the power is going to come from the wrist. So when you do the first technique, you want to tap or slap it. So you want to start off very slow, very easy. You want to make as much contact as possible. See? Okay? Now, you want to feel like your shoulders relax. Your shoulders should not be tense. You should not be raising and throwing your body. Power doesn't come from how much you throw, like I said. It's how well we inject our energy. Okay? And you can see, I have a lot of power, but not a lot of commitment. Okay? Our wrist is our key. So in this technique right now, we're going to practice developing proper technique through the wrist. Okay? Emphasize is on the wrist, not the shoulders. So try not to get involved the shoulders. They are only good for pivoting. They are not good for driving. Okay? So you want to create one. See? And if you want to practice this technique, it doesn't have to be the whole sequence. You can just practice one, two, three. See? You should have your guard up. Okay? The next technique you're going to create is what we call the cycling technique. The hand's going to cycle like a bicycle pedal. The other one's going to shoot out. Again, if you notice, elbow and wrist, not the throw of the shoulder. The shoulder can hit it to support the elbow, but it's not going to drive the elbow. It's going to drive down, but it's going to drive to the wrist from the elbow. You're not going to drive the shoulder to the hand. You're going to drive the shoulder to the elbow. Okay? Last time I said elbow, I meant to say wrist. So it's actually, you want to drive your shoulders down to the elbow, not the wrist. A lot of people tend to throw their shoulders into the wrist or into the hand. It is not what you want to do. Shoulders down to the elbow, and then from there, from the elbow to the wrist. Okay? So you want to go one, two. Okay? So when we do this technique, it's a pack of with the palm to the elbow. Okay? So we're doing this. Okay? Now, when we do this, the sequence is now, if you start with the right and left, I'm going to start with the right hand. Okay? So we're going to go one, cycle, two. The next technique is turning the wrist for three. Do not lift the arm and throw it over. We want to imagine our elbow on a table and we want to just pivot it by turning the palm to do what we call the flat hand feel. You want to feel like you're flat. You don't want to be like this where you're crooked and you don't want to feel like you're pushing out. You want to go two, three. It's a small movement. Okay? So to combine it, one, two, three. Okay? The next step is basically developing a simultaneous drive both with your packs out of the parry, what we did before, and a drive with the fist. Okay? Very important that you don't want to pull backwards. A lot of people tend to go like this and they pull back. You want to go from here, straight in. Okay? When you drive your fist, you want to just kind of relax. You don't have to hit it hard. We're not trying to kill our hands. You want to develop the conditioning to the hands. So as you can have the you strike hard. If you're not conditioned, do not strike hard. You're going to wind up hurting your hand. You're going to work your way up. Okay? It's like when you lift weights. I'm not going to give you 500 pounds to start off with if you can only do 100 pounds. And say, listen, it will get you stronger. No, you're going to want to get hurt. 
And not to say it can hurt your hands if you don't condition yourself to hit. So make sure that when you drive, when you come up, one of the best things I like to tell people is slither or slide along the arm. Do not lift yourself above the arm because you're going to have a tendency to draw the elbow outside and you're breaking your alignment. You want to keep your elbow in the same line if you draw a string from your wrist to your shoulders. The elbow must be along that same line. If it goes outside, you're breaking structural integrity, which means your punch is going to weak and you're going to sacrifice your power for strength because you're going to wind up leading and throwing your body to make that power. And it's not going to be powerful. It's not going to be anything actually. It's going to be very weak. So, one. Two, three, try four. The next step is to open the hand and just lay down the hand to the jaw. You do not want to pull it in your elbow, okay? We don't want to take the punch and draw it to our elbow. That's no good. We want to lay down the hand. Let the elbow drop, but so does the hand drop. See? So from here, drop. Okay? You don't do this. What happens if you pull this elbow in? When somebody punches you, the energy wants to go in. You're going to collapse under pressure. You want to lay your hands. And this way, the weight is towards your, your palm area so you can control his energy. If you go here, he's going to control you. So when we do this, one, two, three, five. Now you're just going to lay your hand as you strike up. And you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And then the finisher is just basically dropping your palm. And again, if you watch my elbow, okay, and my hand drop together, do not pull and push. You are allowing energy in, which allows the opponent's pressure to take you. We do not want to pull backwards, we want to just drop and drive, okay? You can tell if you're good or not, because if you just get a little bit of bounce, if you feel the strain going on your shoulders, you're not alive. You just want to take that energy in your fist, driving the forward energy from just the wrist. So you want, if I'm going to exaggerate, now this is exaggerated, so you can see how much of a torque I'm going. It's actually into the jamba, so you should drive it towards the jamba. You can see my wrist, so this is a lot of wrist motion. We want to focus it into the jamba. So when we hit, we want to hit tap, 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 okay? As you get good, develop that wrist. Do you want more power? It's not how much you throw into it. It's how much you focus your energy into it. So it's not about getting your body to boom, throw in your body mass. It's how well you set the energy. Accelerate. Okay? So again, do not hit hard, do not hit fast. I like the saying that I heard, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, fast is deadly. Go slow so you can find the smooth, fluid movement. Eventually, when you get smooth and you get fluid, you'll learn to go fast with it. When you get fast with it, now you're deadly. Okay? So don't go all out, gun ho trying to go, oh yeah, let me hit hard here faster. It's not the proper way. When training, things take time. Things take uh, you know, dedication. Things take commitment and, and proper movements. So you got to train your muscles. Okay? In this case, our training is in our wrists. Okay? It is in the turning, the wrist, and the pivoting of the elbow, and the shoulders. So again, you're not throwing the shoulders, you are going to pivot. Okay? And again, you don't want to pull backwards. You want to lay your elbow down with your hands. So if you look, what we call parallel techniques. Don't do this where you look like you're pulling into your body. You want to look like you're laying as you drive. Okay? And the strike again, make sure the elbow is in alignment between your shoulder and your wrist. You understand? So don't let you feel like you're going out and lifting up. You must keep it in, keep it down. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And MC, MC, LC, LC. You may have heard it, you may have not. But MC, MC, LC, LC means more contact, more control, less contact, less control. So when you carry someone, get as much contact as possible between your thumb and your pinky side. Do not push towards your pinky side more. It's what we call the imbalanced energy. You have to get an even spread to where the thumb and the pinky side carry both the equal pressure. So if you're going to give 20 pounds of pressure on your pinky, it's 20 pounds of pressure on your thumb. Not more, not less, the same. On both sides. And in return, you want to get as much contact between the arm and to the hand. You're not pushing more at the arm, you're not pushing more at the hand. 
You want to feel like you're even on both sides. So get as much contact and get the same control. So don't feel like you're pushing to get higher or dropping to get lower. You want to lay so you feel even all about. Okay? And your hands should feel flat. Okay? You don't want to have that crooked because you have an imbalance. Your hand tends to drop this way. Laying flat keeps you in proper control. Having a tilt makes you want to go towards the tilt. Okay? So, try, uh, when you practice this, practice slow like I said. Do not try to hit hard. I don't want to hear, like, I hit so hard I broke my hand. I don't want you to do that. I want you to do it right. Okay? I like to say hit tight, hit right, hit light, hit right, hit strong, hit wrong. Okay? So don't try to go all out because it's not really right. Hit tight. Stay within this frame. Stay light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Power comes from acceleration, not force. Okay? Force is hitting strong, not powerful. Powerful is focused on energy at a single point and a single moment of time. So you want to get as much energy with the shortest amount of time possible. That's power. So that's what we were going to do. Okay? So I hope you guys trained well. If you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, comment below, and we'll try to answer it best we can. Thank you.